great conflict of the ages is about to intensify. But remember the words of Jesus. In me, you might have peace. In the world, you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Would you like to know how to exercise courage and fight the good fight of faith? Listen to this devotional. Conflict and Courage A Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White Table in the Wilderness Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Psalm 33 verse 18 and 19 Like the Saviour of mankind, of whom he was a type, Elisha, in his ministry among men, combined the work of healing with that of teaching. Faithfully, untiringly, throughout his long and effective labours, Elisha endeavoured to foster and advance the important educational work carried on by the schools of the prophets. It was on the occasion of one of his visits to the school established at Gilgal that he healed the poison pottage. At Gilgal, also, while the dearth was still in the land, Elisha fed 100 men with the present brought to him by a man from Bel Shalisha, bread of the first fruits, 20 loaves of barley, and full ears of corn in the husk thereof. What condescension it was on the part of Christ, through his messenger, to work this miracle to satisfy hunger. Again and again, since that time, though not always in so marked and perceptible a manner, has the Lord Jesus worked to supply human need. It is the grace of God on the small portion that makes it all sufficient. God's hand can multiply it a hundredfold. From his resources he can spread a table in the wilderness. By the touch of his hand he can increase the scanty provision and make it sufficient for all. It was his power that increased the loaves and corn in the hands of the sons. Of the prophets. When the Lord gives a work to be done, let not men stop to inquire into the reasonableness of the command or the profitable result of their efforts to obey. The supply in their hands may seem to fall short of the need to be filled, but in the hands of the Lord it will prove more than sufficient. The servitor set it before them, and they did eat, and left thereof according to the word of the Lord. The gift brought to him with thanksgiving, and with prayer for his blessing, he will multiply, as he multiplied the food given to the sons of the prophets, and to the weary multitude. This was your daily devotional. Therefore, do not cast away your faith and confidence in Christ, because the promise is, it will have great recompense of reward. Mm-hmm.